Okay, in your last assignment, you answered some questions about Edvard Munch's The Scream, his very famous and amazing painting that everyone probably already knew. Um, but it's that painting is famous for a reason. It is um, one that really captures the attention of the world through um, the use of the elements of art. So what I'm going to do is basically go through the elements of art just like you did in the questions that you were asked for the assignment and go over some of the key points um, just to point out some things that you may or may not have noticed when you were answering those questions. So, cut to the art instead of me. All right, your first question in your visual analysis of this painting was to describe the lines in this painting. So you might have noticed that there are a mix of both straight lines and wavy lines and swirly lines. So you see the, the bridge creates a very strong straight line going from the right to the painting towards the back. There's also a strong vertical orange bar here to counteract kind of all the waviness that's going on in the middle. We have wavy lines in the sky that mimic the wavy lines that make up the body of the main figure. But the lines that are in the water are even more curved. We also have some vertical lines that go straight up and down of these people over here. The lines, we also have a lot of brush strokes. So you can see the individual brush strokes of the artist in the different colors. We have a little bit of white highlights, black, orange, even a little bit of blue in this bridge. We have the same colors, blue and black, orange and yellow represented in the water. Um, and so the lines are um, individually delineated in, with the brush strokes. Your second question is how does the artist create contrast with the lines? Now contrast is one of the principles of art. How does the artist create contrast? Now the biggest contrast that I see in this painting in the lines is the contrast between that really strong straight line with the curved lines of the sky and the man. So that contrast between perfectly straight and curved creates a, a little bit of drama and a little bit of sort of uneasiness in the picture. Okay, so your third question is to describe the colors in this painting. And that is as simple as can be. First, you can list the colors that you see. There's blue and dark, different shades of blue from light to dark. We have oranges, different shades of oranges and tints of oranges, yellows, and also some black and white highlights. And if you look through the painting, that's pretty much all there is. Um, black, orange, blue, and white. The fourth question is to describe the contrast with the colors. How does the artist create contrast with color? Now, you are going to study a little bit of color theory a little bit later in this unit and learn about things called complementary colors. What a complementary color is, is it's opposite on the color wheel. When you put opposite colors next to each other, like black and white, you're gonna see a, a strong contrast and it's gonna make it really pop. And also they look really good together. And this is a set of complementary colors, orange and blue. So you'll learn a little bit more about that later, but again, that stark contrast between those two colors really energizes this painting, contributes to that emotion that's in this painting, and contributes to the uneasiness that we feel when we look at this painting. All right, and lastly, we have describe how the artist depicts space. But artists use space in an artwork to show distance and show depth. The artist has his main figure up in the front and then he creates space by putting this these people way here in the back. And how do we know that he is closer to us than these people back here? One thing he does is he creates relative size. So these people are small um, and then this person is big. We know that in in reality, if they were to stand next to each other, they would be roughly the same size, but he depicts them much smaller. Another thing that the artist does is the position on the picture plane. So at the bottom of the painting, those are things that are closest to us. This is the foreground. And then as you move up, that stuff is farther away. The artist also uses line to emphasize the space. Look at this really strong straight line that I've already mentioned. 
that emphasizes the distance between him and them. So you might be wondering, why do we spend time picking apart uh, the elements of art? And that helps us understand the meaning. When we look at this painting, if I were to have asked you, how does this painting make you feel? You could have, you might have said it made you feel um, restless and, or anxious or scared. And the artist used the elements and principles of art to make that happen for us. He used that contrast. He used those painterly lines. He used that um, those bright colors mixed with the dark colors that really kind of puts us on edge. And then to draw attention to this character, he used shape, which I didn't ask in the in the question, but shape is one of the elements of art. If you look at his the shape of his face and the that oval shape of his mouth, those things could sort of draw our eye in as well and emphasize the distortion of this character. The artist uses space to emphasize the character's isolation. He looks anxious and he looks alone and he's all by himself in the world. And had the artist not included these characters back here and this strong directional line to create that distance, we might not have noticed his loneliness or his isolation as much as if we had, as, as if he had not included these people there. He also makes them almost kind of fading away. They have kind of fuzzy outlines that are sort of dissolved into the background to emphasize their anonymity and emphasize his anonymity as well. That even though there are people near him, that he still feels alone and anxious and scared in this place. So learning about the elements and principles of art helps us understand art better and makes us more aware of the choices made by the artist.